And what do you think about AI is like changing and shaping the SEO industry? Like, what are your thoughts on that? What do you think about the SEO agencies? They have to change to survive in the era of AI. Because what changes they have to make? They need to adapt. It's very difficult. Okay. And can you give me some like SEO strategies which? Are going to work in 2024, like some of the watching this video. We have some like, yeah. top three SEO strategies mm -hmm. which are still working in 2024. Mm -hmm. so fundamentals are same: links, content, good uh, performance, good documentation. Yeah, it's simple, and I'm not going about the fundamentals. But what diversifies the final results are uh, the top of which for sure. How was the workshop, guys? Hello, hey, hi guys, I'm Jaitan Maswani and you're watching Inside Hustlers Brain Podcast and today I'm sitting with Robert, one of the top SEOs guys from Poland and he's organizing his own event SEO Poland which is coming next month where I'm going to speak. So we are going to talk more about that. So Robert, why don't you like introduce yourself to my audience, share about your SEO journey. So let's go. Yeah, yeah. so I'm Robert, pleasure to be. Thank you very much. Um, I'm here like forever. I, I've been in the industry for the last 20 years. I'm uh, graduated at Cracker University. Yeah, so we can talk like that. Yeah. It's okay like this, with, um, yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm running agency. I'm uh, working with biggest Polish clients. And yeah. We are delivering stuff. Uh, we had only one failure uh, last year. Uh, we have a portfolio of 70 clients, but one failure is I think normal. I think it's it's completely okay when you're running this SEO yeah. business. You you might have yeah. some projects where it goes up and some. Yeah, yeah, and like. and you know there's a lot of changes, algorithms, and also yeah, other parties changes. like the developer stuff. So sometimes shit happens, but yeah, if you stand up and go further and proceed and be better next day, so still. It's, yeah. it's better. So, how do you feel at SEO Vibes Dubai? It's like looks like a very great event. So, how do you feel here in hmm. SEO Vibes? You know, I've never been to Dubai before. Okay. Uh, it's my first time here, it's and first time. Okay. it's my first time here. It's huge, so massive, so rich. A lot of fancy cars and stuff. Yeah, to be fancy. honest, I rather prefer different cities, but still. The, the whole venue is amazing. It's party on the yacht, uh, fancy five star hotel. Yes. And great speeches so far, and yeah, yeah. And, I'm waiting and for your more. speech was also nice. It's too technical, but it was like very helpful for the audience. Yeah, you know, uh, the thing is, I try to diversify the knowledge just to give yeah. someone even the one piece of grain, and if only this single piece of grain will help him, I'm happy. Okay, that's and perfect, you know, there's yeah. a lot of people in the in the room, and something easy could be challenging for someone. Something yeah. very very you know, high tech. Could be interesting for someone else, so I need to fulfill all needs in the room. All not not only advanced one, yeah. but sometimes also the the simplest ideas, advanced ideas. So everybody in the room are happy, even with with the single piece of yes, information they get. Advanced. Yeah. And and what do you think about AI is like changing and shaping the SEO industry like in 2024? Like, what are your you thoughts know, on that? You know. For me, it's, it's the name of the game. To be to be honest, uh, different verticals like lean building and yeah. stuff are not so sexy anymore for me. Yes. And if everybody's doing same, like same content, same content writers, same audits, uh, same technical implementation, performance yeah. and stuff, you need to diversify somehow. And the AI for me is a place to build something new. And actually, I think it's a great moment for us to be the best in something and it's life-changing life once a lifetime opportunity so yeah for me it's a hundred percent name of a game and i have strict focus on it and i hope it won't be in the long run only about spamming and the whole ai concept and implementation worldwide will just bring the value to the people and be better place. because what we are seeing in the place. current ser piece right the original Content is getting outranked by Reddit. If you see some latest tweets, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, it's yeah. happening. Like like Google is ranking Reddit above than the original content, and people are really like really upset with that. Like to be, to be honest, I don't understand it at all. Um, I think it's a temporary situation, and the next uh, helpful content update will verify is it uh, going to last for sure. few years, or is it just the room to make money based on make it, money, and yeah. that, and that's it. So yeah. we need to wait for the next one, and then we will know. 
is it going to last or is it a mistake? Because all models, machine learning algorithms are, you know, based on some sort of relevance and confidence. Yeah. And the confidence is, it's not 100%, it's like 70%, 75%, so maybe Google just made a mistake. I don't, I don't know, because I don't understand it at like all. It's been like six months. Yeah, but there, yeah. there, there haven't been any, 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 any new uh, helpful Updates, content yeah, they yeah, introduced yeah. in the last, last week. So the next one should answer a lot of questions. How to, you know, how to uh, uh, recover a website. Uh, what's next with Parasite website? What's next with Reddit? What will rank or not? So, do you think yeah. uh, like Google will fix these changes? Like, like they have to fix this. Like, this is like yeah, very. It's a, glitch. It's, a glitch, it's a glitch. Like Reddit Quora is ranking for all the queries, like for best protein powder, best wireless router. It's it's Reddit and Quora are appearing like seventy eight percent, like in the yeah, search but, but results but the, all the time. But, but, but the thing is, it appear in seventy percent of queries. It's possible, right. but yeah. it's only in U.S. market. As from a different perspective, different countries, not the same. For example, in Poland, there is no Reddit, there is no Quora, there is no situation like this in Poland. Okay. So, so looking only on... Like English-speaking countries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looking on local perspective, like local uh, perspective. different countries, it's, it's not the same. It's typical US situation. It's very difficult. Okay. And uh, can you give me some, like, SU strategies which are going to work in 2024? Like someone who's watching this video. So do you have some kind yeah. of top three SU strategies? Mm -hmm. which are still working in 2024. So fundamentals are the same. Links, content, uh, good performance, good optimization, yeah. It's simple and I'm not going about uh, uh, fundamentals. But what diversify the, um, the, the, the final results are uh, topical coverage for sure. You like can name it like topic, topic, uh, topical, uh, topical coverage, topical authority, you, you can name it as you want. And building more perspective and attributes to your website, better filters, for example, in e-commerce, more content, more categories, more blog posts. It always works. Uh, internal linking, simple one, but quite effective one. Yep. Uh, and massive production of AI content, but just AI good, good, good quality. Just, just you know, build say 20, 50 super quality website, and then start publish more and more and more with AI. If you get the like proof of concept AI, yeah. that is uh, ranking for you, like t top 10 results, top five results, whatever, just put a little bit of human touch and you're good to go. But for sure, uh, what diversify also the, um, the person who will succeed in the long run is just to give a value for people because at the end of the day, it's not, it's not about Google game and us. It's not a game between us and Google, it's a game between us and the users. So go for perfect uh, content uh, formatting, fancy pictures, listicles. Uh, Have you always done pictures? Huh? Yeah, and, and just make it good for people, not machines. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> just, don't, uh, that, 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 just remember that someone else is, uh, some, somebody is on the, on the, on the other side. Exactly. And it's not Google. It's not Google, yeah. yeah. So do you want to talk more about SU Pollen? It's, it's going to come to the next one. So oh, my yeah, audience so, will be interested. So what yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is SU Pollen? So I, I'm going to run to two, uh, two massive events in Poland. You are, you are going to speak uh, on mine one uh, in March in Warsaw downtown in fancy theater, uh, we are mostly going to focus on AI, business around AI, business around AI and SEO and stuff and everything just to cover the whole pers all perspective yeah. Uh, yeah. and the hottest topics right now. And the second one is in uh, May, May in, yeah. in Polish mountains. I'm doing it uh, with white press. It will be more like uh, business focus, marketing focus, like uh, business perspective. Like business perspective. Yeah, with Some huge brands, we even we, we even talk we, we even talking with uh, Ferrari, and maybe they will show a case study how they market uh, supercars online. Wow, so this sort of, like very interesting, yeah, so very, very interesting. Total different perspective. So yeah. as for this year, we, are, we we will fulfill all all perspective in March in Warsaw and in May business perspective with white press yeah wow so someone who is interested to join SEO Poland or in may or march i will drop the link in the video so they can yeah, check yeah, it out you're, yeah you're and welcome easy access to warsaw fly in you will enjoy yes it. so there yeah for sure so you so you guys will enjoy it so i i, I just want to know what are your favorite ai tools right now you are using in your business which are helping you, you know, to automate the trend is moving too fast and there is like uh each day, every day, brand new tools. So I'm, yes, not, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm trying not to focus on tools because I'm cutting the noise. For me, the tools are not 
some 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 sort of noise. I'm trying to uh, mm, stick to ideas, concepts, and <coughs> directly play with OpenAI, Mixtral, yeah. and other language models. But for sure, Surfer AI is quite useful and quite yeah, good Surfer quality. Okay. My business partner is running uh, senudo.com. Uh, they have quite decent content writer. I I got a uh, great result using it. Mm, well, uh, let me think what was the one. Mm -hmm. have a favorite tools like yeah, everybody uses yeah. it. You know, I like this uh, DeFi I showed. Uh, like it's, it's, it's more like for developers who want to build on top of AI. So uh, it's a great idea. Actually, for me, this agent approach that you build, not not just single prompting the chat GPT, but you build agents who mm, do some task for you and then try to connect them, orchestrate them, and build on top of this technology is most interesting. So DeFi for sure. Uh, look for a, a AI agent or orchestration. It's moving so fast, uh, a lot of projects. Uh, so yeah, nice. I would recommend it. And also, uh, I think the um, all all tools with which allow you to automate your process, like make.com or something like that, is amazing to use. So yeah. Yeah, because I think like everyone should start using AI like and treat AI like as your friend. It's it's gonna yeah. help you in the long long run. You know, sure. you know, it's a it's a cutting edge technology. We can yes. not only use it but al but also build on top of it or build better website, better e commerce, better whatever uh, using this technology. So let's build. Let's build together. Okay, uh, what do you think about the SU agencies? They have to change tools survive in the era of AI in 2024? Like what can you make if they really they want to, to try? Yeah. They need yeah. to adapt for sure. They need to open their mind and uh, think how can they automate the process to cut the costs, how to develop people because that agency is people business, you know, and yeah. you are responsible for the people. So you need to give them ideas how they can also adapt, how they can, um, you know, um, of course use. AI in a process because there, there will be more effective, but for example, copywriters, copy, yes. it's, it's, it's tricky one, you know what I mean, because of AI now. but yeah. they can adapt, use it, um, maybe um, pivot a bit to form of editors or start planning the content or whatever. Yeah. So for sure, uh, they need to adopt uh, first. And then an agency just need to think how they can um, use this technology to cut the cost make a process better because agency if you you know if you close the clients like a few clients you need to hire next person next client next person so the whole revenue is like ding 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 yeah, i mean so next client next person next client next person next person next, per next person in team so for sure ai can help them to make a better profit at the end of the day like make a j curve like you know like you know agency won't work like this but maybe and smaller, you know, smaller, drops, sm yeah, smaller, smaller drops, drops can be adjusted with that. Right? Yeah. So for sure, uh, me, uh, me as a CTO of agency, I'm focusing on it, how to help my people to to do better and not to do, and still be profitable as a business at the end of the day. Okay. If if some, someone is, is starting out as a newbie in SEO, what advice you have for them hmm. in 2024, right? Somebody is starting as an SEO, SEO and want to be SEO. SEO, like someone, someone who wants to be an SEO guy, like an expert, like like Julian, like Matt Degree. So what they should do, like to be hard, hard work, hard work, hard, hard work. work. Hard. I mean, I mean, hard work, uh, hard situation because you know, hard I'm work. here for. Smart work, I, I I've, like. I've been here for 20 years. So somebody, if somebody is coming to industry right now today and he has zero, zero knowledge, it could be quite tricky. But what I would suggest, maybe sort of niche down to some specific field, like uh, make a specialization, like I'm expert in WordPress and I'm WordPress. something like that, or, or I'm doing only e-commerce and or I'm focusing on, I don't know, content planning and something and or just to niche down, it, 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 it will be much easier just to start and get traction and earning and then expand, 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 expand your knowledge instead of trying to fulfill everything because you, you will fail. Just one thing, do it good, next one, skills, next yeah, one. For it. sure it will, it will took a while, but, um, but at the end of the day, yeah, 
they can become specialists because it's a long process. Maybe also a good idea is just to, to work with a, an agency, try to, you know, to get a position with agency because agency gives you different perspectives, different clients, so, so the spectrum of options is bigger uh, comparing to if you want to learn yourself, build your own product, you will fail. Of course, fail, failures are good in the process, yeah. but agency will give you confidence, uh, no, internal know-how, huge perspective, yep. and you will also work in a team. Yeah, it, yeah. it should be much easier to work with experts who, will, let's say, will guide you yes. at the beginning. And then after, I, I would say, two years, maybe three years, in, in and if you coach yeah, everything, yeah. then try grow your, your, your stuff, um, yeah. Like be a part of these kind of events, I would say, like try to yeah, yeah, and yeah. network with the people. Oh yeah, actually, I'm traveling a lot around the world and I know a lot of people and they are so friendly, they are so open. Uh, in this industry, a lot of people want to help you. Yes. Even this top tier specialist, yep. they are open to talk to you and they will help you but for sure you need to respect them and get a, them, yeah. go with proper question and be prepared not just to yeah. wait at someone else's time but for, sure. uh, for, for sure. example if you need uh, something you can write to me i will respond to, to you and same with my colleague of course it, it won't be instantly like the same, same time, time it yeah. will took like yeah. one day today for me just to um, just just to do it but yeah it's all about like Make yeah, yeah. And be friendly, provide some value. Do you remember, uh, even on our webinar we did like a few weeks ago or months, depending when yeah. you publish it, yeah. uh, I said something that uh, your network is your it's network. Network, yes, always. always and always for sure, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna develop in the industry, go for networking. It's massive. It's very, very very, very important. I, I believe that. Like, like go out, go to all these kind of events. Try to meet all the like all the speakers and experts out there in like in the room and you, you will learn so many things because I have grown my network from there like attending events in Bangkok of Lit World like I've met Matt Diggity there like Neil Patel there everyone I've met in Bangkok to be very honest so it's all about networking and going out yeah, yeah, and, people. and the thing is and one, uh, one suggestion to your crowd sure. um, you need to approach someone yeah. don't uh, think that somebody else will uh, we are working in the industry of introverts <laughs> so if you will sit and wait that somebody will approach you and That's talk to you, it won't happen you it need to happen. gather your self-confidence yeah, approach yeah. high five drink beer and let's go let's go that's how i I've, I've done like interview let's do this interview robert like that's how you approach people like try to be friendly with them just be persistent i will always say that so you know that's how things work so so thank you so much robert for sharing your journey with my audience and they would be love to know about seo poland so we will drop the link in the video below so yeah, they can yeah. check it out and they will be happy to be part of it guys so you should must join seo poland in march and it's going to happen in may too so please come there and you will get a lot of knowledge and meeting all these ex experts like robert like julian so they are a part of all these conferences so you you get yeah. to learn so many things, right, all the time. Yeah, yeah. and different perspective. Each, each presentation is different, but it's, it's, different. It, it's good to know it just to figure it out and your own perspective and at yeah. the end of the long run, uh, your own experience. Yes, yeah. for sure. So thank you so much, Robert. It was nice to have you on my show. Thank you, guys. And if you get the value from this video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube and channel. smash the like button. Smash it. Come on, show the power. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> we did it.